So when I'm talking about my she shed, this is what I mean. It's a 20 foot long car shed, essentially. Um, I use this for all of my animal equipment and stuff. It's right by my goat pen and my quarantine pen. Um, this is where I've got cages for taking the cat to the vet. Uh, the bunnies summer house is over there. Obviously in the winter they live inside. Uh, they're pets, they're not animal for eating, you know. Um, the umbrella is in here, some of my gardening stuff, um, just stuff that I don't want in the main garage because the main garage is a complete nightmare. It's just so hideously disorganized, you can't find anything ever in there. So last year we spent about 350 bucks on this guy. Um, it has shifted, it has broken somewhat in that windstorm. It's shifted about two foot that way. So um, I'm gonna have to get it fixed before the next snow comes because this is bizarre. Like I've never seen this in January. We have thawed. We have thawed. Um, okay. Ah, yeah, over here, you can see how much it's moved. All of these things were inside and are now outside. So um, when the ground is properly thawed, when we get to like May, um, then I will be uh, building some kind of concrete base for this so that it stays where I put it because it's handy. Uh, every farm you go to, everybody that's been farming for any length of time will have a whole bunch of animal cages. There will be at least one dead trampoline that you have turned into an animal pen. Um, there will be, you know, you have to find a way to segregate animals on occasion because of illness or injury or that kind of thing. So it's super helpful to have that available and right here, right next to my girls. Looking a little the worse for wear, I think I'm going to need a new door, but that one's done me like six, seven years. It's not in bad shape. Uh, I take the plastic down every year before the snow comes and everything just gets covered in snow because there's no point trying to fight winter here. You just can't. So take the plastic down and then the roof will survive. Ah, the wild Maltesers. Yeah, you don't eat those. those that's moose poop. So the moose has been in my garden area. These are my four raised beds. Uh, the one in back there is blown because I stupidly planted mint in it. So the entire bed is now entirely mint. As soon as the snow goes properly, it will start popping up again. But the rest of these beds, unfortunately, in the lee of the garage, the sun is over there. So this is my cold growing area now. Um, this is peas and beans. How do we water the garden? Well, when all this snow melts, it gets sump pumped from around my house into this channel over here, which goes down that way towards the well. And then we use a pump to pump that water from the well, 30 feet or so into these containers. Uh, they need a good clean, they look filthy, but um, I will fill these up as soon as the actual thaw starts. And then I can water my garden for couple of months easily from there just saves me hauling water down to the greenhouse and the hugel culture and the goats